Here it is, the best speed team. But wait, there's a catch. What if I told you that the conventional ways of using the speed team is actually a hindrance? Well today, I'm gonna show you how to use it correctly. Part 1 of this video is gonna be about how to actually build the speed team. Part 2 is gonna be about how to use it correctly and unlocking its full potential. And part 3 is gonna be about a variant of this team utilizing Black Pearl. I also invited a special guest to showcase the Black Pearl team for me. So here it is, and now I'm gonna show you which topic you should use. And I'm gonna do it while fighting a Grandmaster 2 cause why not. Hollyberry is using 5 chocolate. You also want damage to the subsets on all 5 cookies. Queen Amanda is using 3 raspberry, 2 almond. However, you're also able to run 4 raspberry on her. She also needs attack, attack speed, and no cooldown on her subsets. Madeline is using 3 raspberry, 2 almonds. You can also run 5 almonds if you prefer that more. And Madeline needs attack speed subsets, but no attack subsets. Moonlight is using 5 almonds, and that's all she really needs. Pure Vanilla is using 2 almonds. 3 chocolate but it's actually really flexible. And as you can see here, I was able to beat a Grandmaster 2 as a free to play. However, in order to understand this team, we need to go down a rabbit hole. First off, I want to point out that the only purpose of the speed team is to counter the standard team. The standard team consists of Hollyberry, a secondary tank, Moonlight, Stardust, and a healer. And quite literally, almost everyone in the high tiers of the arena use a standard team as their defense. This means that if you figured out how to counter the standard team, you will gain a lot of trophies. Trophies. However, I actually did a live stream testing out the speed team versus a bunch of standard teams, and I got absolutely destroyed, and it was just horrible. And that's because I made two major mistakes. So you may be wondering why I said don't use any cooldown on Queen of Man. Long story short, a 3 second Queen of Man cooldown will sabotage your entire team. To put it simply, Stardust has a greater chance of targeting Madeline instead of Moonlight and Queen of Man. And if Madeline gets a sign of the Stars debuff, you basically lose the whole match. I took this arena battle from my livestream and I lost because I had a 3 second start. I also made a second crucial mistake which leads us into part 2, Secrets Revealed. After fixing the 3 second cooldown, I was still losing, like a lot. I kept thinking to myself why even bother using the speed team when a more overpowered team exists which is the Blueberry Pie one shot team. So this one shot team actually counters the standard teams, and from my experience, this one shot team does a much much better job at countering standard teams than the speed team. It's much more reliable, consistent, and I've had a lot more success using this team. And that brings the question, why should we use the speed team instead of the blueberry pie one shot team? But then, I figured it out. Typically, when you use the Blueberry Pie one-shot team against a team with a feather, there's a chance that the feather prevents the opponents from being one-shot. And when the opponent uses BTS instead of Pure Vanilla, well, BTS is actually better against the one-shot team because they're immortal and can't be killed. This battle right here is an example of how you should use the one-shot team. The opponent has both an old Pilgrim Scroll and Pure Vanilla, so it works out really good. However, when I looked at my speed team, I realized the reason why I lose so much is because my cookies die too fast. This only occurs when the opponent is using an old pilgrim scroll. Also, pure vanilla is actually better against the speed team than BTS. Pure vanilla has a chance to outheal the damage you deal with the speed team. And BTS is less effective against the speed team because you aren't trying to stun people with it. When the opponent is using an old pilgrim scroll and pure vanilla, you should use a one-shot team. But when the opponent is using a feather and BTS, use a speed team. Team. Abusing these two teams is my secret to getting tons of trophies inside the arena. However, let's say the opponent is using a combination of pure vanilla and the feather, you should use a one-shot team still. If the opponent is using a combination of BTS and the scroll, either team is fine. And that's how to use a speed team to its full potential. On a side note, the reason why I was able to beat the Grandmaster 2 earlier was because they were using a feather and BTS. And then I proceeded to hard counter them with a speed team. And now it's time for part 3, variation. Pure Vanilla can be replaced with BTS. Cream Puff is also viable. Capsation Cookie can replace Hollyberry, Queen of Man, Madeline, or Moonlight, either one of those four. There is also a way to turn the speed team into a scam team. For these teams, you want to replace a watch with a whistle, and now you want to replace your healer with any DPS cookie. Black Pearl is by far the best option, and I'd say you should just try to have some fun experimenting with different damage dealers because there's a lot that work. And now it's time for our special guest. His his name's Drekt, and he's one of the top players in the Dark Cacao server. So you see, this Black Pearl team right here is actually extremely overpowered for those who spend money on the game. And now he's gonna fight the number one arena player with this Black Pearl team. Here are the toppings for the team, and let's go!
And now you know how to use a speed team to its full potential. Now subscribe, cause I'm poor. I make all sorts of content so you should subscribe to see it. Also see Farty.